Party's over. Hello everyone and welcome to another DVD review. Today we're going to talk about my all-time favorite film. This film, I believe, is just glory, literally at its fullest. I love this movie. There's so many reasons reasons that I love this movie. It's just a great, and I, at least I think, a phenomenal film. You know, perfection. I love this film. Um, and that is The Human Centipede. Now, recently, this film's had a pretty big uh, status because of you know very uh, controversial subject and that kind of thing. Now, I, I saw the film back when actually when it first came out, and I've owned it for a while. And actually, this was actually when I created my YouTube channel uh, back in March of uh, 2012. Actually, I reviewed. It was the second film I reviewed, and uh, I wasn't really good at reviewing movies then. I was kind of I, I did a lot of ums and a lot of ands. I was just not not, not very. My first re few review videos aren't very good. But now I got the thing going. I know how to do an actual video and a review now. So I wanted to go ahead and re-review the the my favorite movie. So here is my re-review of the Human Centipede first sequence. Now I'll give you a little rundown a little, uh, of the director. It's directed by a man named Tom Six, and I think that Tom Six with this movie has done something very creative very innovative a very just a very unique idea and he's just he's a great uh, director i really think he did a phenomenal job on the human centipede here's if you don't know the concept if it's not obvious enough by the name or the cover let me just go ahead and give you a rundown of <clears throat> the human centipede it revolves around this man by the name of joseph heiter uh, dr heiter in the movie and he had a th he had three he had a three a uh, Rottweilers that he uh, connected to be he connected from mouth to anus, and when he connected these dogs, uh, his experiments actually failed. So he's kind of going through this kind of trauma. He's going through this uh, thing in his life now. You know, he's, he's, his you know his three uh, ma his masterpiece he calls in the film his beautiful creation has now failed. And there's these two uh, young girls that are, um, I believe they're in the, I believe they're in, in like the Netherlands or something like that. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, sorry. Anyways, uh, Germany or something like that. I, I believe it's Germany. Anyways, I'm getting a little off track. So there's, there's these two young girls and they're off to a party or something. And of course, I won't say too much, but their car breaks down and they run up and they, uh, they find, uh, Dr. Heider's house. And you can see where it goes from there. He he wants uh now he wants now to create a human interpretation of his of what he did to his dog. So you can see hence the name of human centipede. And that's pretty much that's pretty much the plot of the human centipede first sequence. Now, um let me give you some of my, my opinion on the film itself. Uh one of the many reasons I love this film, the the most the biggest reason I love this movie is because of uh, Dieter Laser, who plays, you know, who plays, of course, Joseph Hyder as Dr. Hyder. D Dieter Laser's character, his name in this movie, is Dr. Hyder, and I think he does a great job. He's one of those, what do you call him, those, those, those character actors who, he, whenever he, he doesn't talk to any of the actors on set, he talks to all of them afterwards, you know, and he, he gets up in the morning, and he just... He eats, and then when he goes to the movie set, he doesn't talk to anybody. He immediately he gets into character and doesn't talk to anybody until after the set to the film, and it works out great. Um, I remember the first time I watched this film, 
Um, I've watched some. I've watched some directors, uh, some of Tom Six's interviews, and a lot of Dieter Lazer's interviews, and some of the actors' interviews. And I remember they talked about they talked about the black humor in the film. And I'll be honest, the first time I watched this, there was only about one, two, maybe three scenes of black humor I saw. But I didn't I didn't get much of that. I saw it as strictly a horror film. But then once I watched it a second, a third, and now I've seen the film at least at least ten times, if not more. I watched this at least at least two three times a month because it's just I think it's a great film. You know, I just I love it. Anyways, uh. It's one of the recent. Uh, it's one of the uh, horror films that recently has really got me into horror. Anyways, uh, so anyways, uh, I really, I, I, what I did was I watched it the first time. Didn't get any of the black. Didn't get any of the black or dark uh, humor in it. But then I watched it a second time, and I was like, okay, you know, there's there's some scenes that are very that are that are pretty that are pretty funny, and they're. Not, not, not like a, not, not a slapstick or anything, you know, not, no gag funny, nothing like that, you know, but more of a, more of a dark black, you have to have a, you have to have a sort of sophisticated kind of humor to get, and may, most of the humor in Human Centipede is very over the top humor, just kind of like, I'm trying not to give away a spoiler, but there's, there's a sequence in the movie where, uh, Dr. Hyder is wearing a lab coat and he has sunglasses on. On, and he's holding his sedation rifle, and he starts to hit the glass, and I think he hits, and he, but before he hits the glass six or seven times, and the glass breaks, he's standing outside of his house, and he stands there for at least a good six or seven seconds before he even does it. He just stands there like this. He's holding his rifle, and he stands there like this. And that's, that's, it's a still shot in the movie, just, just like this. And then out of nowhere, he just, you know, just goes... And hits the window until the glass shadows and breaks, and he runs in into the uh, house. And I remember the first time I watched that, you know, I I, I kind of smiled, but the second and third time I was actually like, huh, you know, that's that's kind of funny, you know. <laughs> he just kind of posing like he's, you know, like he's one of those, like he's one of those people in Amsterdam, you know, through the, you know, in the windows, you know, that poses or something, you know, when you as you walk by, uh, kind of like that. Um, or he's like a statue. It's just it was it was. It was kind of a good scene, and then there's another. I don't, you know, you know. I'm pretty sure it's one of the black humor moments that Tom Six and Dita Laser are talking about when they talk about black humor in the Human Centipede movie. Another sequence that I thought was kind of funny is when he first starts to talk. Uh, I'm not trying to give away spoilers, but uh, he first starts to tell the uh, patients or his victims, more like his victims, what he wants to do to them, and right before he starts talking, he winks. He like he kind of does. I can't wink very well. But he kind of goes, you know. He kind of, you know, that, that, wasn't, that was a terrible wink. Anyways, he winks uh, one of his eyes, and, and then he starts to talk, and he kind of he has, like, a smirk that he does. And, I'll, you know, it's kind of a nice, you know, black humor, uh, comical, uh, comedic moment. And, uh, and then the Japanese guy, I forget his name, I forget the actor's name, but the Japanese guy is just straight out over the top and ridiculous in a few moments. But, it, but the thing about it is, to me at least, it adds... To the movies, just it adds to everything the movie does. Is like I was saying earlier, it just I think Human Centipede is a great film, and I think I do think it's really has. Uh, I know critically the film had a lot of mixed ratings. I know on RottenTomatoes.com it got roughly I think like a 50, 55 percent. It had it was somewhere in the 50s. Uh, it got a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of people thought it was a little too gross and a little too sick. And I'll be honest, it's more of a uh, Human Centipede 2, if you don't know, it has a sequel. Human Centipede 2 is where he, is where Tom Six amps up on the graphic and amps up on the blood. It's shot in black and white, and it's where he amps up on the blood and the graphicness and the content and everything. But the Human Centipede, now, it, there is a few, there are some graphic moments. There is blood. There is nudity. Uh, the con the, I, but the thing about the first Human Centipede, it's more of a psychological kind of head, you know, mind twister, you know, the, it's more of the psychological factor, a lot of the moments are done off screen, there's, I, there's one in particular that's done off screen, and, you know, you, you, a lot of the, it's going through your mind, like, you know, the idea of a, of a surgeon, you know, connecting someone's mouth to someone's anus, that's, Pretty, pretty grotesque and pretty disgusting when you think about it. And so the surgical scenes in the first movie aren't too bad. 
But when you go to the second movie, it's full-on gore. Tom Six holds nothing back. And just so you guys know, there's a third one coming out in 2013 of next year. And supposedly, you know, I, I, and I, I imagine it'll be true, the third one is going to make the second one, I believe he said it's going to make it look like a Disney film. Because the first one he said is like My Little Pony. And then he said the second one is going to look like a Disney film compared to what a Human Centipede 3 uh final sequence is going to be about. So they got Human Centipede first sequence, Human Centipede full sequence, and then Human Centipede 3 a uh, final sequence. So anyways, uh, I think uh, I'll go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about it. It, it. I don't know if you guys know any of these actors, but we have Dieter Laser. He's a German actor. Uh, starring as Joseph Hyder. We have Ashley C. Williams, who plays one of the girls. You also have Ashlyn Yenny, who also plays one of the girls. And then you have a guy named Akirio uh, Kudomara. I can't really pronounce his name. Anyways, but he is, the I believe he's Japanese or Asian, something like that. Uh, and he plays uh, the other actor in the movie. Uh, like I said, Tom Six directs it. Uh, it distributed... By uh, IFC Midnight Films. I like. I love IFC Films. This is one of the first IFC films I saw, and ever since this film, I've been attached to IFC uh, from the hip. Uh, Eli Roth. You know, we all know Eli Roth. Hostel. He says, "I honestly got sick, and that's the highest compliment I can give a horror film." Uh, Devin Faraci says, "A masterpiece. A masterpiece of perverse originality." A truly unique experience, and I like I like I said that I love that statement. This is a very original idea. On the back, we have Entertainment Weekly says it's to my fellow depravity heads that I recommend the Human Centipede, and they have a famous critic Roger Ebert from Chicago Sun Times says depraved and disgusting enough to satisfy the most demanding midnight movie fan. You know, and it says right here if you can read that it says right right here. Uh, their flesh is his fantasy, and uh, I I love Doctor Hyder. I just love I love his demeanor, his just his he his whole just his acting is just great. You know, he's his whole demeanor, just the way he acts and just the way he, the way you're able to laugh at some of the scenes. He's, you know, he goes he has kind of like he almost has he's almost has he's almost bipolar. He almost has two personalities because sometimes you'll see him just kind of a calm. Uh, kind of a calm kind of sense, and then the next scene, he's like extremely over the top, and he's like screaming and yelling at the two girls because they uh, spilled some water on on his table. There's a great scene that I love in the movie where he's has where he's. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead. And, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little. Uh, I think I told you what I wanted to tell you about Human Centipede. So for these next five or six minutes of my review, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little spoilerish. You know, and tell you some really I. What I feel, at least, are as some iconic scenes in the Human Centipede first sequence. And the first one on is whenever he's uh when he puts the rape drug inside the water, and he walks into the uh walks into his kitchen and he acts like he's on the phone. And the girls Ashlyn Yenny and Ashley C. Williams, their 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 characters in the movie, they hear him, so they think that they think that he's a uh, sorry uh. Anyways, like I was saying, uh, they think that he's on. The, they think that he's on the phone, but realistically, he's not. He's he's you know they're trying to get someone to uh to tow their car to you know tow their car, and they don't. Of course, they don't. You know, and uh, he puts he's all you know putting putting the little pill in there and it dissolves. And then when he goes back in there, he's like you know water, water, and I love that sequence. Another sequence I love of is when he. When he pulls the girl's hair, whenever uh, he pulls the girl's hair up, up, and he sticks the needle right in her neck, and he kind of like, he kind of like this. It looks like he's having an orgasm almost, like he, like he's being turned on by it. And I know that, I know that uh, Doctor Hyder isn't. I know he, I know he hates human beings, and I know his character is not turned on at all by the human centipede, but it seems that way almost. Anyways, uh, I also love the scene around the end. Where he gets, he gets stabbed in the knee with a with a with a knife or a scalpel, I think. I think it's a scalpel. Anyways, uh, and he has to crawl back up the stairs and he licks the blood. Just to really, it's almost it's kind of it's kind of gross and kind of kind of funny in a way. Uh, 
see if there's a and I love like I said I love the scene with the glo when the where he stands there and the glass being shattered. I love that scene. I love the scene where he uh he the girl is trying to escape. Uh, I believe it's I believe it's Ashley C. Williams' character is dragging Ashlyn Yinny's character across the lawn as they both get outside, and then he uh out of nowhere he shoots you know a sedation rifle or it hits her right in the right in the back of the neck I believe, and she falls. I think it hits her neck actually, maybe her back. Anyways, uh she falls and then he jumps up on the uh, little ledge of the uh of the of the of the uh glass window that was broken and he gets some you know and brings him back in oh, i love i love the opening scene the opening scene is pretty good uh i love how uh he when he aims a sedation rifle a lot of times with filming they 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 film away from the sun but in this movie's case it's done a little more uniquely thanks to tom six and his great directing skills uh the the camera shot is towards the sun, so you can't even see Dr. Hyder's head or his facial expression, because when he aims his rifle, the sun is shining directly on his head, and all you see is, like, this bright, almost this holy, glorifying, you know, sun on, on you know, and all you see is the sun right here, and then you just see his arms aiming a sedation rifle, and then, and as he shoots, the shot cuts away, you know, and then it cuts back to the trees and the road. A far away shot, and that's when it cuts to uh, the girls, you know, talking. Uh, you saying, you know, kisses over the phone to their uh, friends. Anyways, this is getting a pretty pretty long review, but the reason this review is so long, it's probably gonna hit twenty, even maybe twenty five minutes. And the reason it's so long is because I literally think that Tom Six is a great director of 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 a uh, body uh, horror films. I do not think that the films are torture porn. In any way, I'm not going to rant about my opinion on torture porn, but I don't like that term. But I do think these are just great uh, horror films that have some black humor in them, and I love the black humor in them. I think they're great, and a lot of people, you know, they, a lot of people say, oh, you're sick if you like this. They say, you know, oh, you're sick if you if you think it's a good movie. Oh, Tom Six, you know, people, he gets he literally, he gets death threats over uh, over Twitter, you know, and Facebook. He gets all kinds of people saying, you know, oh, you're sick. I'm going to come to your house and you do all these things to you, and, and, uh, and, in and the good thing about Tom Six, he has a great attitude about it, he's like, you know, he has a great attitude about it, he knows, you know, the thing about this is, it's, a, it's a movie, you know, it's a movie, the thing about me is, if you don't like the concept, if you don't like the movie itself, then don't watch it, and also, I believe, I kind of feel that if you haven't seen the movie, then you really can't be judging it, because, I mean, you can't judge the movie just from, you know, looking at the cover, it's kind of like judging a book by its cover, Unless if it's movies, you know, that are just downright horrible. But with a movie like Human Centipede, with such an original, like I was saying, such a, such a creative and innovative and unique idea, you can't just overlook it. You know, you gotta, you gotta give it a chance. And if you don't like it, then, you know, everyone, everyone, you know, to each their own, to each their own, everyone's opinion. But you've gotta give the movie a chance at least. So if you haven't seen the Human Centipede first sequence, you really ought to give it a chance. Anyways... This is the unrated director's cut version. I'm pretty sure it's the only version out. Uh, comes with trailer, deleted scene, behind the scenes, director's interview, casting tapes, Foley session, alternate posters, and also the best thing about it, a director uh, commentary. I I love, like I said, I love the Human Centipede. I there the two are out now, and I honest I prefer these first. I think the second one. Excuse me. Like I was saying, I prefer the, uh, you can see there, I prefer the first one over the second one, purely for the reason, now I love, I love how the second one amps up on the gore and everything, you know, the, you know, you need to see that to see the, what's really going on, I love how he does that, but, I love Dr. Hyder in this one, I just, you can see him down the back, I love Dr. Hyder, there's that classic scene I was telling you about right there, it's a classic scene from the movie. Um, anyways, uh, I love Dr. Hyder. That's the main reason I like this movie so much. Uh, I love a lot of the scenes in it. It's just a truly just, just a sick film, but I love that it's sick, and I love that Tom Six doesn't hold back. That's one thing I like about Tom Six. He's not afraid to hold back. He's not afraid to show you the film that he's meant to, because you see a lot of films nowadays that they're cut from R to PG-13 because of the studio, but Tom Six, you know, you know, with Six Entertainment, you know, he produces his own films, him and his sister, and I'm, I think a few other people, if I'm not mistaken. 
Anyways, uh, he's not, like I said, he's not afraid to hold, he's not afraid to go all the way. He's not afraid to just show people what the film that he uh, definitely had in mind. Anyways, Human Centipede, if I was to give the movie a, uh, if I was to rate the movie a 1 through 10 rating, I'd give the movie like a straight up 100 out of 10 because, like I said, Human Centipede, I've seen this movie more times than I've probably seen any other movie in my life. I loved it. I liked it so much that when I first, that when I watched it, I rented it from a movie store called Family Video, and when I, or Movie Gallery at the time, actually. It's Family Video now because it closed down. Anyways, uh, Movie Gallery, I rented it from. I watched it. You know, I had a, I had my girlfriend recommended it to me because she knows that I like, I, I like very explicit films because I feel like films that, uh, do not, that, that put away censorship and, you know, just put away, you know, what people are going to think. Films that put those concepts away, you know, you know, they really, they really just, you know, they should just, I love when they do that because a lot of directors should, you know, just go ahead and just go the whole nine miles because, and don't be afraid to do what you want to do with a movie. Just, just go all the way and just have fun with it. Anyways, uh, like I said, like I was saying, when I first watched it, I thought it was great. I watched it again the very next day, and then I even watched on the third. Day, I'm not even kidding. I'm not trying to you know brag or say anything, you know that you know. But I'm I am literally obsessed with this movie. That's why this review is a whopping more than 20 minutes long. Anyways, like I said, I watched it three times, once a day within the first three days of knowing about the movie, and then I bought it. I think about a month later. And then I watched it and just, you know, I started to talking about it. I bought a shirt, as you can see, my Human Centipede 2 uh, poster there in the background. Uh, I even have, if I can, hopefully this turns out okay with me moving the webcam. And if you can see here, oh, and let's see. Anyways, uh, you can see my Human Centipede poster there in the background. I got those both off Amazon. Sorry about all the uh, shakiness. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you can see I'm a pretty huge fan. And when Human Centipede 3 comes out uh, late next year in 2013 or whenever it comes out in 2013, I will definitely, I'm kind of bombarded with posters, but I will definitely be making room for a Human Centipede uh, 3 poster because I love these movies and I really think Human Centipede is the best movie to come out there. Uh, it's not a remake. It's not a. It's an original script that Tom Six himself wrote and directed, and he held nothing back, and he gave it his all, and the movie satisfied me. And you really ought to check it out. You know, don't don't not check it out just because you think it's sick, but at least watch it, and then give it an opinion. If you don't like it, that's that. If you love it, come join me and the Human Centipede crew. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's my review of the Human Centipede first sequence. Thank you for watching this full 23-minute video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe to my page below. And uh, just a uh, shout-out to Tom Six. I love you. Seriously. Just kidding. <laughs> but I, I'm just kidding. Uh, I do think you're a great director, though. And I just, I think the, the Human Centipede films... Both one and two are great films. Dieter Laser is great. Uh, Harvey uh, Lawrence is great as Martin. A very different role than Dieter Laser, and just uh, just they're both great actors. And I'm glad that you directed these movies. And I can't wait to see Human Centipede three and also The Onania Club in 2013. So, anyways, big shout out to Tom Six. Great job doing both films uh good luck to on in your future projects and once again thanks to all my youtube people out there that watched the full 23 minute video and if you didn't watch all of it i still appreciate you for watching part of it and i'll see you guys later with another dvd review like comment subscribe to the page below and i'll see you guys later on another, on another video by centipede geek